the Lord shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. And the Lord shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate <coughs> the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us our salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people, and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, <coughs> God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the holy ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate <coughs> the same eagerness for the, for, for the fulfillment of hope until the end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now men swear by someone greater than themselves for them, an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord, the Lord will remember, remember his child forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember, remember his child forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The Lord, the Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord, the Lord will remember his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to pick, to pick his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. His Pharisee, at this the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? 
how he went into the house of God where Abnathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of God, man, is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. In this beautiful passage from St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 23 through 28, Mark displays for our minds the scene of Jesus and the disciples, this confrontation over the Sabbath law concerning the picking of heads of grain to eat. And as you may remember, the original concept was to keep holding the Sabbath and not to work on the Sabbath. But people started to question, well, what uh, is work? How do we properly define it? Well, if I need to harvest, can I use a sickle? No, a sickle would be considered work. Well, what if I use my hands? Is that considered work? So what happens is inevitable. Government, in this way, a religious government, uh, the scribes, the Pharisees, the, the Sanhedrin, they start to put dictates on and start to redefine everything down to the most minuscule of details to try to say if this item, this action adheres to or does not adhere to the, the maintaining of a law. And it makes you question originally what is a law? If I may offer just a blanket uh, definition of law, could we say it is a practical set of principles which seek to guide a community so that that community may experience the fulfillment of happiness and safety. Could that be a general? I would think so. I mean, we establish a law like a speed limit so that it may provide optimal movement of traffic, but at the same time may help curb uh, dangerous, fatal accidents that could happen if you had all the different cars going in a chaotic pace. You might have a car going 10 miles an hour and a car going 110 miles an hour. Oh gosh, that would be a horrific, horrific thing. But laws can be abused. Laws can be unjust. Laws have to periodically be reconsidered for the good of the society. Jesus is not condemning this law, but he's actually encouraging, not explicitly, but he's encouraging them to think about what they're saying, think about what they're doing. If you have a situation, and he uses the beautiful example of King David in the Old Testament. If you have a situation where a person is starving, they're hungry, the people around them are hungry, could they break the law? And he gives an example of how they did. I know there's the famous book uh, of Les Miserables where Jean Valjean is arrested for stealing bread to feed hungry people. So in all of this, it's pertinent for us to always stop back and say, okay, let us consider the situations. Let us consider what we're doing. And I say all of this because I was listening this morning to a, a lawyer from the province of Quebec in Canada relating something I did not know since I'm not a Canadian, nor do I follow a lot about Canada, but I'm learning. I try to learn as much as I can. And he was talking about how homeless people are being ticketed for breaking a curfew in, in Montreal. It's only a small number, but should we not stop and think, wait, hold it, what are we doing here? 
with everything that we're going through, it's okay to stop and think and say, what are we doing? Not to break a law for the sheer fact that you feel it's unjust and therefore you break it, but to go through the proper chains to say, what are we doing? God has given us the ability to use our reason, our intellect, to be able to, to look at things and question. And that's what we're doing on Sundays. We're questioning our faith, asking questions to help us to invest more into it. So if we try to invest more into our society, we try to also seek better laws that could help the community. That's a lot for this morning, so I'll leave it here. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video. For the needs of you here present in our chapel today, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for a peaceful transition of power as President Trump leaves office uh, over the next 24 hours and President Biden takes over. God, keep us safe during this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we yeah. pray. And we pray for Tommy and Tanya Cain, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah. pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, our good and good of the Holy Church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, our right and just. Just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through me made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glories. With one voice, we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Let us see you come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. We make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, so once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring card to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be our name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. <clears throat> that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but on his faith word and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat>
Let us pray. <clears throat> Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Father, Lord, 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 Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy disciple of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her gorgeous assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be the God and his angels and his saints.